Hello and welcome to the 2020 Student-Led Teaching Awards. For those of you who don't recognise me, it's me, Henry, your Greenwich Students' Union President for this year and your glamorous host for this evening. I have come out of my comfies that I've been working from home in and I've put on my shirt, especially for this, and I'm excited for a fantastic evening of awards. I hope you are too. Now, you might have realised that we are not in the Dreadnought building. No, I don't live in my office. However, we're online for our awards tonight and I think that's an excellent, excellent thing. It means you can enjoy this awards ceremony, not just tonight, but you can watch it again and again and again. Also, no matter where you are, you can engage in tonight's awards. Unfortunately though, we cannot offer you a complimentary drink or snack, but hopefully you'll have your own refreshments to hand. Now, the student-led teaching awards are my favourite thing that happens each year, and I love how students are at the heart of it. Um, it's truly student-led, with students making the nominations, deciding who gets shortlisted, and deciding who the winners are. Now, before we get started tonight, I'd like to hand over to Jane Harrington, our Vice-Chancellor, who has a message for us. Hi everyone, I'm Jane Harrington, I'm the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Greenwich. Now this is my first year here and I can tell you that the thing that has absolutely knocked me away with everything that we do here is seeing quite how fantastic our staff and students are when they work together and there are so many examples of that. And today is one ex absolute classic example where the students have, have want to recognise and celebrate the amazing achievements of the staff and the ways in which they work with students throughout their time here. I'm really proud to be able to introduce this and to be able to actually really show, despite the fact this year we can't do it in we can't do it in person, despite the fact that coronavirus has had such a dramatic impact on all our lives. The students were still really keen that we carried on with these awards and that we found a way to really recognise and celebrate how amazing the staff are. Now there are many awards tonight and I think you'll all agree with me that every single person who has been nominated deserves their nomination and so you're all winners, don't forget that. The fact that you've been nominated, the fact that a student or a group of students has actually said do you know what this person is doing amazing stuff and there and I want to recognize that and I really am grateful that they work with us together that we are one community and so please please remember that you're all winners but I want to also say the ones of you that have win these awards tonight you are fantastic I can't believe what you're doing I can't believe how much you care about the students and also importantly how much you see working together as a partnership. Now tonight we're celebrating both academics who've worked with students but also really really importantly our professional service staff who also behind the scenes often support students, help them to get through sometimes some difficult challenges and actually come out of it as with together with the students as resilient and confident and able to actually go and grasp whatever whatever confronts them in the world. And that obviously is true today as much as any other time. There are so many things that I'd like to shout out about, but the thing I'd really want to say is that what the students tell us through these awards is that what they value are the things that are really important to all of us. So they value the way that academics and professional service staff work together with them as academic communities. They value these important things like the way that, stu the way that staff support um, black and minority ethnic students, the way that they're passionate about the environment, the way that their well-being is supported. So what I would say to you is this is about community, this is about partnership and these awards epitomise that. So have a great event and well done to everyone, Nominate, nominees, winners, and also really importantly, the students who've taken the time to enable us to have these awards. Fantastic, can't wait to watch the rest of this. Thanks very much everyone, bye.
Thank you very much, Jane, for that kind message. We appreciate all your support. Now, I want to talk a little bit about how the winners were decided tonight. Um, we had panels convened of students who were program reps, faculty officers, heads of academic communities, as well as other students who have been engaging in the GSU representation functions throughout this year. And thank you so much for all those in advance. Now, these panels were convened for a diverse range of students because um, we believe that inclusivity is really important in everything we do at GSU. These students, we made sure, though, that they weren't assessing the uh, nominations of their own faculty. And they together, we poured over all of the nominations sent in and we decided who gets shortlisted and who were the winners. Now, there are different types of awards tonight. Uh, the first set of awards are the faculty specific awards. Now, this is where there is one winner per faculty, and we're going to go through those awards now. The four awards are the Outstanding Personal Tutor Award, the Supervisor of the Year, the Faculty Star, and the amazing award of the Inspirational Teaching Award. We have students who are going to present those awards tonight, and they are Luke, Monique, Ben and Zoe. But before we do that, I've been promised by the editors that I get my chance to sit in the limelight. So I've prepared a short 45 minute speech about why I love student unions and they have promised me that this will not get edited out. So here we go. Hello everyone, the first award of the evening is for Outstanding Personal Tutor of the Year. This award is for a personal tutor who is able to understand the challenges faced by their students, are able to accommodate their needs using effective communication and readily make themselves available to their tutees. And the nominees for the business faculty are Karen Aldridge, Elizabeth Warren and Adote Bing Papo. And the winner is Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> Elizabeth was nominated as she is organised, fair and passionate about her job and her role as a personal tutor. One student noted that on the first day of university, she introduced herself as someone who will be there to guide them through their journey at university and up until the last hurdle, she has delivered on that promise. Congratulations, Elizabeth. The nominees for Faculty of Education, Health and Human Science are Jill Trinder, Rebecca Bolan, Angelica Bolu, and Ashley Brett. And the winner is Ashley Brett. <laughs> Ashley was chosen for always going above and beyond to ensure his students are well supported, both academically and emotionally. He is kind and the qualities he possesses as a personal tutor are amazing. One student stated they could not ask for a better personal tutor. Ashley's selfless attitude to his tutees doesn't seem to be astonishing to him, but part of his normal duties. His students are very lucky to know him. Congratulations, Ashley. The nominees for Faculty of Engineering and Science are Adrian Dobbs, Susan Force, Linda Brownlow, and Robert Jenner. And the winner of this award is Susan Force. Susan was chosen for giving special care and attention to all students that are struggling or need her help. She answers emails quickly, she's fair, makes time for students to visit her and emails with advice or course related information and extracurricular activities. Congratulations Susan.
The nominees for Faculty of Liberal Arts and Sciences are Chasula Poloska Louise Hewitt John Morton Ben Hunter and Louise Owusu Kwarteng. And the winner is John Morton. John always has his students' best interests at heart. He arranges weekly tutor meetings, helps with personal issues, and is always around to meet individually. He always emails out about events happening around the university and even looks out for events specific to individual students. Congratulations, John. Supervisor of the Year The second award of the night is for Supervisor of the Year. This award is for personal dissertation or research supervisor who has been an instrumental part of students' successes. They are highly skilled in resolving a range of issues and offering excellent development opportunities for students. The nominees for the business faculty are Rob Robson, Sean Moore, Andres Koka Stefaniak, and Minna Jones. And the winner is Rob Robson. <laughs> Rob was chosen for challenging, supporting, and encouraging his students. Students felt able to bounce many ideas off of him with responses showed that he'd taken a real interest in their projects. His teaching is outstanding and something that students will never forget. Congratulations, Rob. The nominees for Faculty of Education, Health and Human Science are Oliver Robinson, Sanhiran Apache, Scott Goody, Gemma Boden, and Mara Leva Bernardi. And the winner is Gemma Boden. Gemma was chosen for always making time to see us, whether that was through Skype, email, or in person. She always took the time to go over our work and give us great feedback. Gemma has played an instrumental role in helping pushing students to achieve their best work, even when motivation and lack of inspiration have been low. Congratulations, Gemma. The nominees for Faculty of Engineering and Science are Jeanette Swan Wallace and Mike Leach. And the winner is Jeanette Swan Wallace. <laughs> Jeanette has done tremendous work in supporting her students, particularly those who have struggled due to mental health and disability issues. She is supportive even during non working days and deserves to be recognized for her efforts towards all her students. Congratulations, Jeanette. The nominees for Faculty of Liberal Arts and Sciences are Claire Ustance, Gavin Rand, and Christian P. Humble. And the winner is Claire Ustance. Claire was chosen for being a source of encouragement and inspiration from the start of students' PhD research. Her specialist knowledge of her field of study is so vast. So too is her enthusiasm for her work. Congratulations, Claire.
Hi everyone. I'll be presenting the Faculty Star Award. This award goes to a member of staff who has gone above and beyond to help their students. Someone who has exceeded all expectations when it comes to contributing to the student experience. And the nominees for the business faculty are Julian Hazel, Pamela Zygema, and Guajang Song. And the winner is Pamela Zygema. <laughs> Pamela was chosen for being kind, caring, and always patient with her students. She is always going above and beyond to support her students, making everyone feel ready and supported with upcoming deadlines. She has personally taken time out to speak with students about their university life and career direction. Very well deserved, Pamela. The nominees for the Faculty of Education, Health and Human Sciences are Duncan Lloyd, Alison Cork, Poppy Gibson, and Roger McDonald. And the winner is Duncan Lloyd. Duncan was chosen for always putting his students' needs above his own and is incredibly proactive in ensuring that all students have everything they need to progress, even during unsociable hours. This was particularly evident during the COVID-19 pandemic, where many students were completing placements. Duncan was ahead of the curve, making sure that all of those students were aware of the current situation, knew what to do and how they were supported. Congratulations, Duncan. The nominees for the Faculty of Engineering and Science are Cleopatra Branch and Nicola Coleman. And the winner is Cleopatra Branch. Cleopatra receives this award as she genuinely cares about the success of her students. Her passion for her career is infectious and inspires students to be the best they can be. She is an approachable lecturer who takes the time to know her students. Very well deserved. The nominees for the Faculty of Liberal Arts and Sciences are Christian P. Humble, Richard Wilde, and Louise Hewitt. And the winner is Richard Wilde. <laughs> Richard was chosen for his continuous reassurance, sharing any and all knowledge he has with the course content, strike action situation, and now the lockdown. Richard is one of the most dedicated and passionate people some of his students have ever met. He puts his heart and soul into the Department of Criminology and is most deserving of this award. Congratulations, Richard. The final faculty-based staff award of the evening is the Inspirational Teaching Award. This goes to an exceptional member of teaching staff who engages students through their expertise and passion in the subject. They're able to make content interesting and relevant to their students, which in turn has an impact on student experience. The nominees for the business school are Andres Kocker Stefaniak, Gerhard Kristandl, Nadia Bambuzid, Eva Krolikowska, and Emmanuel Mogaji. And the winner is Andres Koka Stefaniak. 
Andrew has received many nominations for this award. For one student, he helped them to find new personal values which will affect their career choice in the future. His passion for his subject was mentioned multiple times and his teaching abilities, including how he goes out of his way to ensure every student understands, are inspiring to everyone. Congratulations, Andres. The nominees for Faculty of Education, Health and Human Sciences are Bonnie Kerr, Sky Kennedy Cullen, Marion Steele, and Rob Wilson. And the winner is Bonnie Kerr. <laughs> Bonnie was nominated because she makes topics interesting and ensures students know what the module requirements are. She's always open to feedback, finding solutions to any problem, ensuring things can be constantly improved. She wants students to do their best and constantly checks in to ensure that they are coping mentally and academically. Some students believe she deserves this award because she's an outstanding lecturer, tutor and person all in one. Well done, Bonnie. The nominees for Faculty of Engineering and Science are Linda Nicolades, Marcin Glovac, Michael Okariki, and Mike Sharp. And the winner is Michael Okariki. <laughs> Michael was chosen for producing amazing teaching material working incredibly hard and caring deeply about his students. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Michael showed incredible dedication to the course and progress of his students. Michael has always stood out to students by showing a sincere understanding and making provisions to help everyone through any circumstances. Well done, Michael. The nominees for Faculty of Liberal Arts and Sciences are Tatiana Simmons, Jia Wang, and Mark Pavlovsky. And the winner is Mark Pavlovsky. <laughs> it's no easy accomplishment to endow a subject or topic with such interest that it captures the minds and intellectual capabilities of those who study it. But this is what Mark has achieved in the eyes of his students. Mark has been consistent with his teaching and taught his students to an exceptionally high standard. Well done, Mark. Thank you so much to Luke, Zoe, Monique and Ben for those awards and congratulations to the winners. Now we'd like to move into one of our first break segments of this evening, um, but don't worry, we've got some entertainment for you. We have Jono Smith, the current GSU officer, and Zoe Campbell, who is a faculty officer, curriculum consultant and elected GSU officer for next year, who's going to talk us about two key projects that GSU have been working with the university on. They are the Academic Communities Project and the Bain Retainment Gap Project. Off to you guys. I'm proud to say that Greenwich University and GSU's efforts in reducing the Bain rewarding gap have again seen positive shifts. We've been able to make adjustments that have seen a reduction of 3.2% in the absolute gap between white and black students and a 5% between Asian and white students between 2017 to 18 and 18 to 19. This to me says two things. The gap is definitely something we can close and every action and effort made is definitely helpful, but it also means that we really need to keep going. Until the gap is eradicated completely, we are doing a disservice to our students. Thank you for everyone's commitment to this project and I hope you will join with me to keep pushing harder than ever before 
to make fame awarding gaps a thing of the past. Good evening everyone. I hope you're safe, well and are enjoying these virtual student-led teaching awards. The Academic Communities Project was created to ensure that every student felt part of a community whilst at Greenwich, regardless of their field of study, their demographics or any other extra commitments that they might have. Over the past two years, the project has introduced various ways of engaging with every type of student throughout the academic year. These have ranged from hosting events during lunch times so that commuter students can attend, to working with various university departments during peak exam and assessment periods to deliver wellbeing events that help combat stress. Due to the changes we face during COVID-19, these wellbeing events have now moved completely online in the form of digital stress busters, helping both staff and students keep on top of their mental and physical health whilst at home. This year, we also carried out the first academic communities consultation groups to gain insight into the needs of commuter, mature, placement students and student parents. Alongside this, I've been working on my Academics as Champions campaign, working with academics on a ground level to create and build a more effective support system collaboratively. So thank you to all those academics who have engaged with both myself and GSU throughout the academic year. Sorry, I was on mute there. Um, thank you very much, Jono and Zoe, for those contributions. And we move on to our next segment of awards tonight, which is the individual awards. These are where there is one winner for the entire university. And to present them, we have Darnell White Russell, who is a faculty officer in the Faculty of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Over to you, Darnell. The first category is Student Support Services Award for a team. This is awarded to non-academic staff who have gone above and beyond to ensure our students receive the best possible experience. The nominees for the team award are Student Wellbeing Services and King William IT Support Group. And the winner is King William IT Support Group. They were chosen for their outstanding commitment and service all year round. They have provided great assistance no matter the issue whenever required and are always there. One nomination stated that they owe a great deal of the university's success to this team. Well done to the whole King William IT support group. The nominees for the Student Services Award for an individual are Ivan Garcia, Shapna Compton, Christine Viner, and Melanie Foley. And the winner is Melanie Foley. <clears throat> Melanie was chosen for emotionally supporting students through some of the hardest times of their life, enabling them to continue at university. She directs students to any support and services they may require. And the work that Melanie does with the START group and all of her ambassadors is amazing and she's a real inspiration. Congratulations to Melanie. Finally, we have the Extra Mile Award. As the name states, this award is for a member of staff who has well and truly exceeded expectations when it comes to what they've done for their students. This award is to recognise all the hard work they've put in throughout the year. The nominees are 
Siobhan Gami, Dawn Riley, Emily Edwards, and Louise Hewitt. And the winner is Emily Edwards. <laughs> Emily won due to her work to ensure the information students are given is evidence-based and gives a more holistic approach to midwifery. Her input into learning and teaching has been invaluable and logical. Since COVID-19, she has gone above and beyond to facilitate learning from home, reorganising online resources, providing structure and valuable feedback when students have felt a little left in the dark, checking in on more than just academics, but personal well-being too. Well done, Emily. Thank you so much, Donnell, for those awards. And we're going to be on to our next break of the evening. We like to keep that anticipation going for you until we get to the end tonight. Um, we're going to have a little break. We're going to hear from Ben, who presented some of the awards early on. Ben is the Politics um, Society president. And um, over the course of the last academic year, he's been supporting student activity and we're going to hear from him. But also we're going to see a exhibition shared, which I have personally curated called More Than a Staff and More Than a Student. This exhibition is all about how we are more than just our job titles, we're humans. And that is what brings us together as a community. It's about what we do outside of the university setting as well as what we do inside. I hope you really enjoy. Hi everyone, I'm Ben, President of Greenwich Politics Society from 2019 to 2020. Being part of a society, for me, means being part of a group of people who you can relax with, especially when you're not studying. You can grow from learning from each other, you can network and you can help each other to improve, whether it be through just relaxing and helping each other's mental health or through forming a community that has strong bonds and works together for the future. The teaching staff and GSU have helped me to enable the society that I created last year to become greater, stronger, have more members and to use the student union space as best as possible. We're very grateful for all of the teachers and lecturers that helped us to enable the society and all of the events that they put on that we could use to make our society great. Here are some of the highlights and also some of the great pictures from the past year of societies that took place.
So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you, Ben, for sharing what it's like to be a student group leader. Your job is so important, and thank you for volunteering your time to enhance the student activity and the student experience here at Greenwich. It is so important to making people feel at home here. Um, right, we're going to move on to the last section of the awards tonight, which is the student awards section. This is where students who have been working on a voluntary basis supporting the academic processes of a university while studying as well are going to be celebrated. Um, we're going to go through a few different awards and they're going to be hosted by the fantastic Emma Kearney, who is a member of GSU student staff. She's also a society's executive and she runs the hockey club. So, over to you, Emma. Good evening all. The first student award of the night is for Programme Rep of the Year. This student has positively fulfilled their role as a programme representative by successfully representing their peers and programme on a local and departmental level. The nominees for the business faculty are Daniela Hurtado and Saeed Jared Ali. And the winner is... Daniela Hurtado. Daniela was chosen for her excellent communication skills between students and teachers. She makes sure to give regular updates to her peers and has been representing her classmates successfully during challenging circumstances such as COVID-19. Well done, Daniela. The nominees for the Faculty of Education, Health and Human Sciences are Leanne Hack, Helen Graves, Jeff Powell, Georgina Harrison, and George Davies. And the winner is Helen Graves. <laughs> Helen receives this award as she communicates regularly with her peers, finding out issues that affect them and finding ways to always solve these issues. She supports her cohort more than what is expected of her as a student rep. Her peers feel they can contact her anytime and she provides guidance even though it's not related to the university work. The true meaning of going above and beyond. Well done, Helen. And the winner of the Faculty of Engineering and Science is Kruti Patel. Having been a program rep for two years, Kruti has shown great initiative to, in speaking with her fellow students and asking for feedback. She also has been involved in the diversity, inclusivity and equality community as a student representative and has supported students in getting their ideas and concerns heard. Congratulations, Kruti. And the winner for the Faculty of Liberal Arts and Sciences is Emily Fisher. Emily has created a community within the English and Creative Writing Department with a lively WhatsApp group distributing information about events and facilitating a forum for students to discuss their work, lectures and more. She has been the centre of creating a real social group centred around literature. Congratulations again, Emily. The Faculty Officer of the Year has positively fulfilled their role by successfully representing their faculty and programme representative on a faculty and wider university level. They went above and beyond in their representation role throughout campaigns and initiatives with the goal to improve the student experience. The shortlisted nominees are Darnell White-Russell and Zoe Campbell. And the winner is... Donnell White-Russell. 
Danao was chosen for being a great negotiator and always asking his fellow students about problems. He has been a good leader and a communicator, representing his peers' academic interests and being committed to his role throughout the year. Congratulations, Danao. Lastly, we have the Academic Society of the Year Award. This student group has made an outstanding contribution to their field of study in a way of providing social and academic hub for their members. They have also actively been involved themselves in the Academic Communities Project at the GSU and working to engage more students. The nominees are the Psychology Society, Bar Society and the Marketing Society. And the winner is the Marketing Society. They were chosen for this award because they provided amazing workshops for students to attend. They have allowed members to gain skills such as teamwork and communication by working on upcoming projects such as the Marketing Society podcast. The Marketing Society have been one of the most active societies, arranging weekly meetings and organising various events for their members and providing a friendly environment to be in. The events they organise are ones that are preferred by their members, not just their own ideas. All of this shows how they've been an image of perfection as an academic society. A very well done to the Marketing Society. And that is the end of our awards tonight. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've had a fantastic evening. Um, I'd just like to say a few thank yous and well dones. First of all, congratulations to all the winners tonight, but also congratulations to everyone who was shortlisted and everybody who was nominated. You are all fantastic. And all of our students and everyone here at GSU are very, very proud to be working alongside you. Now thank yous, I'd just like to say um, there are a few people who have been instrumental in helping us put on the awards tonight as well as supporting the Student Union throughout the last academic year. So firstly thank you to Jane who has supported us who with that video earlier on as well as um, keeping the students at the heart of all of our decision making in this very difficult process time. Also thank you to Karen Bryan who unfortunately doesn't work for Greenwich anymore but has been a chief champion of the SLTAs and the SU over the past academic year. Thank you to Lale Williams and Stephanie Robinson who both without them we could not have put on the awards tonight and thank you to the GSU comms team who have edited out all my blunders, slip ups, mistakes and accidental swear words. Um, in this video you've made a, a great job and thank you again. Also, I'd like to thank those members of staff who were preparing and helping us get ready for an actual physical award ceremony. So the ILS team, the estates and facilities team, and the porters who have been dealing with all of mine and my team's requests throughout the year, moving the Dreadnought Atrium around every other day almost. So thank you to you guys. Finally, I'd like to say thank you to all the students who have helped us with the panellists. I'd like to thank Darnell, Chloe and Monique, Zoe and Luke, to Ben, to Aniko, to Karnika, to Ricky, to Nathan, to Chloe and to Emma Kearney. Thank you so, so much for all of your support. And that's it. That's a wrap. That's the end of the 2020 Student-Led Teaching Awards. Thank you so much for watching. Congratulations again and good night. Actually, Henry, what she here does not tell you is that we still have one more thing to wrap up SLTA 2020. Good evening, everyone. My name is Bilal Jaz and I'm a current GSU officer and next year, I'll be the GSU president, so I thought it was best to get some presidential practice in and give it the real ending to the video. Of course, I'm kidding. Well done, Henry, on hosting a fantastic award ceremony and remind me to talk to you about your wonderful shared selection during our handover period. And now it's my turn to interrupt. Good evening, everyone. I am Maya Femia Balamo and I am also a current GSU officer. Alongside Bilal, Zoe, who you just saw, and New Lewis, 
I would also be a GSG officer next year too. Whilst we would have loved to present these awards with you all in person in Dreadnought Building, it has nonetheless been a great evening of celebration and appreciation of all your hard work throughout the year. I'm sure you all agree that it has been a marvellous watch and has gone some way to replicating a physical awards ceremony. The plus side of presenting via YouTube means you will be able to watch this video as many times as you want and also share it if you want others to watch you too. So once again, congratulations to all the winners, shortlisted staff and students, as well as the nominated staff and students across the whole university. You truly make us proud to be GRE. Finally, there's a special award that we would like to award tonight. This award goes to someone who has been a champion of student voice within the area of student experience and has kept this at the core of everything she did during her time here. We are of course talking about Professor Karen Prime, who recently left Greenwich to take up the role of Vice Chancellor at University of York St. John. During her two and a half years as Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics, she was a good friend to GSU and always ensured that student voice was at the heart of discussion across the university. From committee meetings, task and finish groups, general communications, she kept the perspective clear and ensured that university was here to listen to the student voice and shared a common goal and endure to improve the student experience at Greenwich. GSU would like to thank Karen for always championing the work of GSU through her collaborative approach, always ensuring the student had a seat and voice at the table, and also helping the SLTA to go from strength to strength year after year. We would like to award Karen Bryan with a special award for contribution to student experience. Congratulations Karen and all the best up north. Now we have actually come to the end of the awards show for tonight. We truly hope you have enjoyed it and during these testing times have found comfort in celebrating with your loved ones. To finish off, I would like to play out the university's We Are Together video. To demonstrate our partnership and shared support as we get through the next couple of months. I look forward to eventually being back on campus, mixing with you all, of course, in a socially dif distant way, but welcoming back students in whatever form to our lovely university. All the best. At the University of Greenwich. And Greenwich Students' Union. We are still open. Working hard. And working virtually. We're still teaching. Undertaking research. Supporting our students and staff and our local communities helping each other so we are ready whatever happens next our students are at the heart of everything that we do so now more than ever we are here for you we are together 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 we are together